Hello. Uh, today we are going to look at database. How to create a database, how to create tables, the primary keys, the foreign keys. In today's session, I uh, shall start by defining what a database is. Database is an organized collection of data stored and accessed electronically. Before tables and other objects can be created, a general schema that contains this object is created. The schema is referred to as a database. To create and activate a database, the following syntax is used. We are going to open our, our XQL my query browser. My XQL query browser. Uh, type in the password. Uh, this is where we write our queries, this area here. Now uh, we shall start with the question of the database. Uh, and our database is stored. We terminate and run the query. Another to run the to execute another actually I'm going to be using a shortcut of control plus enter. So later we activate to activate uh, the database uh, we use we write the word use then we, we later call our database name which is school the terminate and when you run after running, uh, after executing our query, we, we, we sit down here. Row is uh, one row affected by the command, no results, and our school here is activated. Now, later, we are going to do the creation of a, of a table. Uh, a table. Uh, we are going to create a table called faculty. Create a table faculty. Uh, in the our table faculty, we are going to have, to have faculty faculty code, uh, which will take data type of int which is integer uh, then the, the, this is our constraint not null then uh, faculty faculty name character mm, 25 Now, character character these are the the, 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 the numbers of letters that will, that are going to be uh, in our table maybe in our container for example I have the, I can take this faculty name to be a container that is going to hold or to store uh, the faculty names like maybe faculty of education, faculty of science, you know. So our table, our, our container, faculty name, it's going to be, it, it has, actually, these are the characters, the numbers, uh, it's supposed to hold, and it's and supposed to exceed 25. Uh -huh. From there, in our primary key, uh, our primary key is faculty code. Faculty code. We 
minute. Uh, run our query. It's okay. When I refresh here, you will see here is this is our our database and this is our table. And these are the the contents that you have entered the faculty code, faculty name. Then we create another table. Create another table. Uh, program. Faculty code. Faculty code is a child in a program table. So it will be a foreign key. Difference is faculty. Semester fees double, not now primary key.
So those are some of the errors. Those are some of the errors we experience. Uh, how can I run? Yeah, it's perfect. The bucket here is missing. Then I create another table. Uh, another table for the students. Student, so it's ready number. Students, ready number. Eight, eight, eight. Then, first name. So for any key. Program, which is the table in program. So that's how we do it. That's how we create tables in Mike Square. So today we are we are looking at how you create a table 
you can put in as many tables as you can you can even put in the primary keys the, the foreign keys so today we shall end here for this this for creating tables then another video will be about maybe to insert to insert in data or being some updates in case there's some modification how we use the the alt so we shall look at many things in database this is just the beginning and for today uh, we can end there thank you for watching please subscribe subscribe to my channel and click on the bell